Okay, so here is my Q1 Ultra. It's uh, running Windows XP, tablet edition, and it has two gigabytes of RAM. Runs really well, and figured I would take this stab at doing videos on the internet to show the difference um, in using a passive digitizer on an ultra mobile PC. Uh, I saw a posting by someone in one of the forums on UMPC Portal, one of my favorite sites, and the person was asking about which one to pick up. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be a really valuable thing to show, and this has been done before by some others, but show what it's like using a passive digitizer. And it's very hard to understand some of the concepts, some of the things that people talk about. Um, and the videos really go a long way to helping individuals in their purchasing decisions because there's not a lot of UMPC demos that are out there. Very few stores actually have them on display. But in this case, um, with my Q1 Ultra, I figured, hey, let's take a, a stab at it. On a passive digitizer, you have to be very careful um, as to how many points are touching the screen. If you are writing, if you're trying to do inking of notes, um, you really need to make sure that only the stylus is touching. So if I use this as an example, and I say there are no problems, then really the only potential issue is my penmanship. Okay, but if I were to go and create um, a note where maybe I was leaning on the device because I wanted to use it just like I would use a notepad and I have my hand on the screen, you're going to get a different experience. There are problems. That's a mess. Now you wouldn't experience that on an active digitizer because an active digitizer uses a special pen and only the tip of that pen will actually leave an ink note. You could have your hand all over the screen and it wouldn't make a difference. But you have to keep in mind that when you're buying a passive digitizer, that's something you're going to see a lot more often. Now some devices do it a little bit better than others. The best that I've seen at avoiding vectoring on a passive digitizer by far is the Fujitsu P1610. Um, the Fujitsu U810 does have a little bit of palm rejection, but you know, by and large, it's going to have the same problem here. So you know, you want to keep that in mind if you're looking at those devices. All of the UMPCs that are currently out in the marketplace, with the exception of the OQ02, use a passive digitizer. So. Um, watch out for that. At least be aware of it so you know what you're uh, getting into when you buy one of these devices. The other thing that I had to say is um, there's a great piece of software. If no one else has used this yet, you really need to start looking at it. It's called the Zero Weight Keyboard, and I think it absolutely changes everything about um, my uh, Q1 Ultra. If you're trying to navigate around um, the web, one of the things that's a problem with the Q1 Ultra are the very small chiclet keys that are on either side of the device and you can't really see them here because of the low light situation but you know I mean they've been seen before there's no nothing new about that over on this side as well but if you're trying to type it can get kind of you know tiresome a lot of people might not like it and they criticize it um, if I'm trying to go to say CNET you know it's not rocket science it's not difficult but yeah it can be a pain well that's CNET so someone creates this wonderful little uh, piece of programming online. I think uh, the programmer's name was devdo6 on uh, who posts very frequently on origamiproject.com as well as on UMPC portal and he creates this transparent keyboard. This thing is just genius. There's just no other way to describe it. So if I want to go and navigate over to the New York Times, I could type it on the chiclet keyboard or I could actually using the zero way keyboard press the right shift key showing a transparent keyboard by the way you can change the transparency up and down on this I'm definitely going to be doing another video on this but all you really have to do is type it out and lo and behold there you are I don't know about you, but I love this little uh, silly piece of programming. I think it's fantastic, and I think it should exist in every single UMPC. And there's dial keys on this unit, um, which is a different piece of software. I wouldn't dare use dial keys um, if I had zero-way keyboard. Wouldn't even occur to me to use it anymore. So, a couple little tips. Um, tell me what you think.